So we uh, just arrived in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It's cold and windy and raining. I don't think you can really hear now. You can probably see me. We're making our way to a little tree house. What'd you hear? I heard something. I don't know. I just heard something. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> everyone last night was uh, pretty crazy but we made it nice charming little place here in the treehouse it's a rainy day today but uh, Rita's gonna show you the place around give you a little tour hi welcome to the treehouse not fake at all <laughs> it's a really small charming treehouse as you can see this is the kitchen area there's really all your basic needs. You have a stove, you have a toaster, you have a coffee machine, and a microwave. And everything else is in between these little curtains. So you have your plates, you have your utensils, and you have this, this, what does this do, Mark? I don't know I what this does. I think this is the uh, heater or okay. water pump, water heater. Heater, water pump. Yeah. Water heater, I believe. Water heater, okay, that. And you have your fridge here. It's a fairly medium sized fridge it's fully stacked already with everything we bought last night and you have your sink and two seats wooden seats just right under and here you have a collection of books in the living room um i don't know any of them but i just find that charming and here you have your living room with a nice little sofa here and a very old school fireplace but the host was kind enough to give us a lot of eco-friendly wood logs and that made a nice fire at night. In fact, it made such a nice fire that we couldn't sleep at night because it was too hot. You have the bathroom. The bathroom is right over here. You have your sink and you have your shower, which is pretty big considering the size of this bathroom. I like it. To go to the bedroom, you have to go upstairs and you have this rope. So. We're going to come here. You have this charming little triangular shaped roof with just a big size bed, big enough for both of us. Maybe not the comfiest, but still cute whatsoever. And you might want to watch out here since the roof is pretty low, so you might hit your head. I am 5'3", and this is what I look like under it. So yeah, this is what I have to do. This is what I look like going down. Oh god. Because you're a freakishly large man. Only from your perspective. Bye. Okay, so the place is pretty small, but I thought I'd challenge myself with a nice workout using these since we don't have access to a gym and I'm gonna use it all in this little tiny space and Rita's being very supportive about it. Here we go. Killer leg workout. I'm preparing a whole fitness channel, by the way, on YouTube. That's coming in about two months. I'll tell you more about it. Being able to train anywhere. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. We're officially leaving the treehouse. We spent Halloween uh, doing s'mores on a rainy day. We're backing up now. Get ready to leave. You got this. Yeah. 
I told him we needed to take things from the luggage and uh, bring a bag only, but he insisted on just taking the luggage. So here we are. I have a little cart. It's fun. Okay, that was fun. A little challenging. Would you do it again? Nope. <laughs> okay, off to Toronto. I'm gonna stop the camera now. Hopefully we'll make it alive. Hopefully we're good, we make it alive. We can't see where the treehouse is, so um, we're uh, using our phone flashlights to help us. So. The stairs are there. Okay, we made it. Nice. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> there is light. Actual light. <laughs> it's not opening. Need help? Okay, that's everything. <laughs>